There's new food in Magic Kingdom, so let's go try it all. Recently, I've been hearing a lot about some new snacks that have been making their way into Magic Kingdom, mainly in Tomorrowland, and I'm here today to give you guys my honest review of all of them. So we're gonna make our way into Tomorrowland and try our first one. We are gonna start right here at the lunching pad where they have a really fun Mike Wazowski cake. This is the Mike Wazowski cake from the lunching pad. For $8.29, it's an orange blossom mango mousse cake with a candy eye. Before I get into this cake, I do want to let you know that the cost after tax was $8.83. So this is a pricey cake. For that cost, it better be delicious. I'm, I'm going to do Mike dirty here. I'm going to cut him in half right down the eye. Ah! Is that what Great sound, sound effects. Yeah. So it's, it's not even a cake, it's literally just a mousse. I think the texture is a little bit off for me. The outside here is that mango mousse, and then inside I believe we've got like an orange, almost like gel, and the textures just don't work together. The mousse and then like the almost jello-like texture, it doesn't mix for me. The flavor is good, it's like an orange mango flavor, but I wish there was like a little bit of vanilla cake on the bottom, and Prove my theory correct. Absolutely not worth the almost nine dollars to get the street. Ryan just discovered that my cake is jiggly because <laughs> there's no cake on the bottom. There's no cake. It's just a, a little mousse, a little mousse situation. I'm going to eat Mike Wazowski's eyeball. Ryan, should I just walk around and put this on my sunglasses like this? <laughs> a little sugar eyeball. So, if you cannot tell, it is hot as a lot of things, and I'm sweating my little buns off. You can probably tell. Luckily, I am wearing a very lightweight shirt today to the parks. I've got on my, my country fair jamboree vest from Shop LBB. If you guys want to buy the shirt, link in the description, or just go to shoplbb.com. It's really cool. If you like the country bears, you'll love this. Another dome cake fail here at Disney World. We're on to the next snack. Ryan is holding down the fort over at our shady table and I'm making my way to Annie Gravity's to get a new ice cream float. Here is the menu right here at Annie Gravity's. They have a brownie sundae, a regular float, you can get regular soft serve, a milkshake, or you could get this cold brew float for $6.49. They also have this new asteroid shake, which is essentially a chocolate shake with some little munchkins on it. I guess they had leftover munchkins from over by Tron because it looks to be the exact same that they serve over there. Here's a look at our float before it starts melting and it looks so, so yummy. This is the cold brew float from Annie Gravity's. For $6.49, it's got soft serve ice cream with your choice of Joffrey's cold brew. So when you get the cold brew float, you get your choice of ice cream. Choices are vanilla, chocolate, salted caramel, or vanilla and chocolate swirl, or salted caramel and vanilla swirl. I went with the salted caramel and vanilla swirl. I had to run back over here to, to our table at the lunching bed because if you know anything about ice cream at Disney World, it doesn't last for more than like 30 seconds. So you have very limited time and it's already completely melted. This is quite literally after 30 seconds. It, it doesn't work out well. Trying my hardest not to oh! oh no. That's really yummy. I'm really happy with my ice cream decision. That salt salted caramel ice cream, it's almost like a salted caramel French vanilla swirl coffee when it mixes and it kind of like melts into that cold brew. This is delicious. I'm loving it. I love coffee. I love caramel and it's honestly a great combo. I really wasn't sure how I was gonna feel about the flavor of the salted caramel ice cream, but again, I will say I made the right decision. It's a really good, nice, light ice cream and I love the flavor. And honestly, the more the ice cream here melts, 
the better it gets because it combines even more with that cold brew that was on the bottom. I told you guys that we are staying in Tomorrowland for a lot of these snacks. I don't know what happened. They must have been like, we're giving all the new snacks and magic to Tomorrowland. Because our next stop is actually the Tron Energy Bite snack stand over by Tron. Here's a look at the menu and you may notice that a couple of things are missing. They actually took all of the dumplings, or not all, to both of the dumpling offerings off of the menu. They added a pina colada slushy, which is what we are going to be getting, and they took away those dumplings, so they didn't last long. I mean, it's only been a couple months. This is the pina colada slushy from Energy Bites. For $5.99, it's served with chipotle pineapple, matcha, and popping candies. I do not think that they could possibly make the volume louder over here, and I'm gonna give this a try. I don't have high hopes because a lot of the stuff at the Tron booth so far has not been that impressive, but let's see how it tastes. I'm actually not mad about it. This is supposed to have Chipotle pineapple on top, and I'm not getting any of that Chipotle flavor and none of the matcha as well. You can see there's a very small amount of pineapple matcha in those popping candies. Um, it's mainly just pina colada, but what, what you do have is a very refreshing beverage on a super hot day like today. Um, kind of small though, right? So we came over to Joffrey's because they actually have a brand new cookie that I believe debuted yesterday. It's a lemon blueberry cookie and it looks really good. So let's see if, we, let's see if they have it. Well, I didn't know this, but Joffrey's actually has a ton of different cookies and they all looked really delicious. I couldn't get a good video because it was really dark, like kind of under where they were, but they had a snickerdoodle, a white chocolate macadamia. They also had an oatmeal raisin and then that lemon blueberry one. I'm not sure if they have it at all of the Joffrey's locations or if it's just this one, but I already took a look. This cookie looks good. Look at this cookie, guys. You can see the blueberries on top. It almost looks like a blueberry muffin and it's a big cookie. I'd compare this in size to the cookies that you get at Gideon's. I have really high hopes for this cookie. Let's see. Personally, there's not enough lemon flavor in here for me, and I also think there's not enough blueberry flavor in there for me. There's only four blueberries on the top of the cookie. I thought there were gonna be more kind of inside, but there's not. It almost just tastes like a plain sugar, like white chocolate chip cookie. Um, I'm not getting I'm not getting a lot of that lemon, which I love lemon. I just got a bite with that blueberry in it. And that bite was definitely better. Like I was saying, it definitely needs more blueberries sprinkled throughout. And if you could kind of see where under that blueberry is, it's almost like a less cooked part of the cookie, which I tend to really enjoy. So the middle is definitely better here. Well, those are all of the new treats here in Magic Kingdom. And after having all of those desserts, I need something savory. So I'm gonna go back to an old favorite of mine here in Magic Kingdom. Over at the Cheshire Cafe, they have a variety of treats, including some slushies, a cupcake, coffee, of course, the Cheshire Cat Tail, and one of my favorite things, the Pepper Jack Pretzel. Like I mentioned, this is not a new snack. I just wanted to show you guys one of my faves and I was craving something salty. So I got this pepper jack pretzel. You can find it here at the Cheshire Cafe and you can also get it over in Frontierland at the Westward Ho Cart. It's a pretzel stuffed with pepper jack cheese and then it's topped with some melty cheese. So it gives you like that burnt cheese kind of feel. It's really good. The inside is nice and ooey gooey. Get this instead of a Mickey pretzel. I'm gonna break this guy in half. There it is. Look at all that nice and cheesy pepper jack in there. It also has a little bit of a kick, not too much, but kind of just what you're looking for on a hot day. You don't want too much spice on a hot day, you know? Let's give it a taste. That pepper jack comes through and it makes it so like the pretzel isn't dry. Little spice, the inside is soft. Best pretzel in MK, for sure. I haven't really mentioned Ryan because all of the snacks that I got are, are things that he does not like. So I haven't had anything to film of him, but now I do. He's gonna give this pepper jack pretzel a try for the first time. A little too 
cheesy for my life. Cheese just, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it's good. Spice is also not there, spice is not. Really, you don't taste the pepper jack? No. Oh, see, I always taste that pepper jack in there. I mean, it's not spicy, but it, like you can taste the peppers. <laughs> he doesn't like it. <laughs> okay, so Ryan doesn't like too much cheese. I think it ups upsets his little belly. <laughs> but if you do like cheese, you will love this. Um, also, if you want to see kind of like a behind the scenes look, at my video today, you guys are gonna wanna go check out Ryan's video, he's vlogging it. His main account is for the love of theme parks, but his vlogging channel is for the love of vlogging, which the video that he's filming today is gonna be on. So make sure you guys go subscribe to, subscribe to him for the love of vlogging. I'll put the link for his channel in the description as well. And his videos are super fun, so give him a watch. After that pretzel, I am stuffed, so we're gonna make our way right down Main Street and out of Magic Kingdom. But before I leave, I wanna give a shout out to all of my friends who have joined my Patreon. We have Armando, Loco, Tracy, Leah, John Paul, Dustin, Nancy, Angela, Kara, Jeremy, Barbara, Lisa, Paul, Misty, Abdullah, Ashley, and Lindsay. You guys are the best. Links in the description if anyone else would like to join. But what a great day in Magic Kingdom. I tried some snacks that I thought were okay and I'd enjoyed. And then there were some snacks that of course I didn't really care too much for, but nonetheless, we had a great day here. Very hot day. Um, so we're gonna make our way out. I need some AC. See you guys.